Napoleon Bonaparte, one of history's most remarkable figures, was born on August 15, 1769, in Ajaccio, Corsica. His life was marked by meteoric rise, military genius, and a relentless pursuit of power, which shaped not only France, but the entire European continent. Napoleon was born into a modest Corsican family, and his early years were shaped by the island's recent acquisition by France. Showing early promise, he was sent to mainland France to study at military schools, where he excelled in mathematics and military theory. By the age of 16, he had become a second lieutenant in the French artillery, demonstrating an early aptitude for leadership. The French Revolution, which began in 1789, provided Napoleon with opportunities to advance his career. His first major success came during the Siege of Toulon in 1793, where he distinguished himself and was promoted to brigadier general at just 24 years old. His military prowess continued to shine in the Italian campaign of 1796 to 1797, where he defeated Austrian forces and negotiated the Treaty of Campo Formio, enhancing his reputation as a brilliant strategist. Napoleon's ambition soon extended beyond the battlefield. In 1799, he orchestrated a coup d'etat known as the 18th Brumaire, which overthrew the directory and established the consulate, with Napoleon as first consul. This marked the beginning of his autocratic rule, which would later see him crowned emperor of the French in 1804. As emperor, Napoleon embarked on a series of military campaigns collectively known as the Napoleonic Wars which dominated European politics for over a decade. His victories at battles such as Austerlitz, 1805, and Jena Auerstedt, 1806, solidified his control over much of Europe, leading to the establishment of the Napoleonic Empire, which at its height encompassed much of Western and Central Europe. However, his aggressive expansionist policies also sowed the seeds of his downfall. The Peninsular War in Spain and the disastrous invasion of Russia in 1812 severely weakened his forces. The Russian campaign in particular was catastrophic, with the harsh winter and scorched earth tactics decimating Napoleon's grand army. Following the defeat in Russia, Napoleon's enemies formed the Sixth Coalition, which decisively defeated him at the Battle of Leipzig in 1813. Forced to abdicate in 1814, Napoleon was exiled to the island of Elba but he escaped less than a year later, returning to France for a brief period known as the Hundred Days. His final defeat came at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, after which he was exiled to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic. But well, Napoleon's legacy is complex and multifaceted. On one hand, he was a brilliant military leader who revolutionized warfare and inspired loyalty and admiration. His Napoleonic Code, which reformed legal systems across Europe, remains a significant contribution to modern law. He also centralized administrative control, improved infrastructure, and promoted education. On the other hand, his relentless pursuit of power led to widespread devastation across Europe. His wars resulted in the deaths of millions and brought untold suffering to the continent. Moreover, his authoritarian rule and censorship stifled political freedoms, setting back the cause of democratic governance in France and beyond. Napoleon died on May 5, 1821, on St. Helena, likely from stomach cancer, though rumors of poisoning persisted. His life remains a subject of intense study and debate, embodying the dual nature of his legacy, a man of great intellect and ambition whose actions changed the course of history, for better and for worse. In sum, Napoleon Bonaparte's life was a remarkable journey from obscurity to the pinnacle of power. His military genius and administrative reforms left an indelible mark on Europe, yet his insatiable ambition led to his ultimate downfall. His legacy, both as a hero and a tyrant, continues to fascinate and influence the world today.